you can see we've traded our usual desk for a juice bar today Woo. because this is all about gym secrets, ways to work out, feel better. So let's start with the first topic of the day, which is this. All these juice bars are popping up in gyms across the country. And there's this new phenomenon called cold pressed juices. Are you all familiar with this? When you cold press these fruits and vegetables, what you're doing is instead of pasteurizing it, which is what happens when you buy juice at the store, you're actually pressing it with sometimes 10,000 pounds of pressure and you're avoiding some of that heat that can even occur if you're using those rotary blades. And so that's why people are saying, well, if you use a cold presser, you're gonna maintain more of its nutrient status. It is a little more expensive, mm -hmm. But we did invite today the co-founder of Pressed Juicery, Hayden Slater, to explain a little bit more about how, this, how these juices are made. Welcome, Hayden. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. So is it true you're taking 10,000 pounds of pressure to, to basically force the juice out of these fruits and veggies? Yes, it is. You know, if you think about a typical juicer that you'd see at a store, it's a centrifugal juicer. And it's really just extracting, like, the juice from the fruit or vegetable. Um, we use a hydraulic press. So what it does is it takes the entire ingredient and it turns it into a pulp, it shreds it into a pulp, and then it applies about 10,000 pounds of pressure. So you're really extracting about 100% more enzymes and nutrients than you would a typical juicer. And mm -hmm. you do in an ideal world, when you juice, you wanna maintain as much of that pulp as possible. Get right. used to that thicker right. consistency, because right. that's pulp, that's fiber. Right. As a nutrition specialist, yeah. you appreciate that that helps decrease that quick absorption of sugar. So, yeah. here's the question. Do you all think that I am capable of making my own juice? No. Yeah, with my assistance. I am, I am going to, Hayden, tell me if I do this incorrectly. All right. I'm, I've never, just going to admit, I've never juiced before. I, I oh take fruits goodness. and veggies and put them in a smoothie or blender. So, Melina, I'm going to have you help me here in a second. Okay, you let me know. Turn it on. That's correct. Now, I'm going to make my own juice for the day. And I'm going to tell you, I woke up this morning thinking, I want some strawberries. So let's fire up some strawberries in here. keep the stems on? Is that right? Yeah, I put everything, everything okay? Absolutely. This isn't going to explode in my no, face. <laughs> So let me try that again. I'd recommend putting the fruit or vegetable in first, <laughs> covering oh, and it, and then turning it, it up. <laughs> but sorry, maybe I should have told you that first. Nobody saw that. True or false, you want a juicery? True. True, true or false, I asked you, am I doing this correctly? <laughs> okay, so, so leave it off, 